Hey everybody, this is Baronet back with you guys for another Portuguese campaign within Stainless Steel 6.4. Last time we left off by trying to defend steel or sylves with the every last bit of steel we had, and even King Afonso himself died in sacrifice to save this piece of shit town. So, uh, yeah, I might have thrown in my cards a little too early. So, I might be paying for that in the long run, but right now we gotta not focus on that. We've got to just kind of get ready for the next onslaught of the invaders, which are the Moorish people. So, I've got my recruitments up, and I want to make sure that everybody's ready to go. Okay. I was gonna get these, uh, mercenaries just to let you all know, but... I want my finances to be okay while Caput's on his way over there, or over here, so for now, we're good. Military-wise, eh, we're gonna be okay. But I'll see you guys in just one second after we end this turn. Alright, so the Polish Senior Duke is dead. The royal houses know not whether to fear, find comfort or fear in this knowledge. Sadness. Okay, so King Martyrdom, religious war, taxation. Taxes being levied on each noble's mineral. Okie dokie. 25% supplies, costs, Martyrdom, universal night, right tonight. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Prince Scotia, commands full logistic support, resupplies faster, carries emergency stores, and can even organize supplies in unfavorable settlements. Good for army morale. <laughs> Lovely. Orders, recruitment authorization. This general has the authority to recruit and train tr units in the faction's armies. Well, I should hope he damn well does. Lord have mercy. Duke of Oporto. That's right, the last duke is dead. Lovely. All right, son. In-law. Figure. I don't know. I couldn't tell you anymore. Well, well, oh well. Let's see, should we get a spy? Let's see, well they've got the archers here. I just need to get... Let's see, there's 121 men in this unit. Wait, what? Did I see that? See that right? 121 men. So why is there only 61? Madness! Madness, we say! I don't, I don't, maybe it's the current settings I have a matter were different when I started the campaign, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Anyways, back to what we were doing. 25th overall, nice, we're dying. Granada was sec successfully destroyed and was taken by the Genoese, the Republic of Genoa. I'm getting the feeling, like after seeing a few Let's Plays of this, I'm getting a good feeling that Genoa is gonna kind of rape everybody because they're so <laughs> so rich and popular so what are we going to do about this I'm kind of scared where's that large army where'd it go <laughs> well I want to stay at my trade spot but where the hell did that army go? Oh, use my spy. Maybe we can retake Sylves at this point. Oh, so they got some jabbies too. Alright, so good old friends over there will be dangerous, possibly. Well, right now they're not moving on us, which is a good a good thing. So, Cordoba is muscling up some men, ready to take on or take back Granada. So what we will do is, uh, well, train as much as we can. We're gonna get. Well, should we get another spy? Not really. Actually, yeah. Let's. Yeah, let's just. What the hell? Another spy. And then peasants for, you know, meat shields. And at this point, I think we have enough men to kind of have another grand army. Turns next available. That doesn't matter. Okay, good. Okay. 
And then, yes, we're building a leather tanner. Lovely. What are we going to build here? We're going to build a market. And here we will build... Let's see. I know I ruled this out as a bad thing. Conversion bonus is not a good thing. That wouldn't completely cancel out the religious bonus. But it's not exactly a good thing right now because... Wait, how small is this? It's just a little ter- okay, well. I thought this priest was influencing it, so... Nope. Let's see, so we, we do have a church here. See, our mining is very good, but our religious unrest is almost taking over the public order. And we are at a low taxes, so if we go to normal taxes, we could technically hold it for a little bit, but not very long. Oh lord, Christ's damnation upon us will be swift, and retribution will be strong. I really need some some of these genetes to get retrained. Got a logging camp done in Lisbon. Okay, we're building... What are we going to build in Oporto? we got to build something here. Maybe I can build that. I don't really want to build another brothel unless I have to. I could build another public gal... Like a public gallows. But it's not going to accomplish much. It's just going to give me a 10% a public order bonus. But that might be helpful when I leave. Might keep the unrest and the rioting down. So we'll get that for now. Yeah, see, that'd be another pretty big bonus. So then I can take Telmo da Garada, or whatever the hell his name is, out of there. Yes, Prince Gadir, you're my best general. <laughs> That's sad. We march. Not really, it's not really that sad, but it's, it kind of makes me cry. Well, look at that, we got some Merc crossbowmen we could get. We can get two mercenary spearmen, two macemen, and we could get a fleet for roughly the price of 2 to 20 2500 yeah 2500 pretty pretty good price yeah yeah pretty good yeah we're going to end our turn right there with not really much we can do we're going to steal we're going to keep looking at our wounds is what we're going to do <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the next one all right so we have a bride presented to Telmo do Guarda Guarda I yeah uh, let's say no for now. The Seljuk Sultan is dead. Poor guy. Passed before he knew it. We are still 25th in everything. Yes! All time high. Mardom is owns great estates. Wonderful. Supplies purchased, la la la. Okay. So, I'm just curious. Okay, so we can recruit some pretty BA mercenaries right now. But I'm not gonna, because I can't afford to. We got a Scottish fleet randomly just coming down from England. What the hell are they doing? Okay. Then, what well, we've got more meat shields. We don't really need more. I mean, it's just more guys that we have to train, and I'm not gonna... Not gonna waste any more of my money. I've got a decent amount of money coming right now, so... I think, yeah, I think it's time to build a boyer back there and then we're just waiting one more turn for our leather tanner here and we can get another company of archers lovely and the next turn we will get a lot of leather going up in here except for these guys partial light mail because you know chain mail is too too much so we get partial stuff it's lighter you know okay so I'm checking these guys out what's going on here you guys under siege or something or what's up? Okay, so Lapo the Chivalrous, <laughs> ten stars. It's got urban crossbow militia and a good old cross. Got some Crusader foot knights. Those guys are so uh, I've never had them, but they just look so awesome. Yep, our recruitment. That's right. We got another spy. We can use. Alexandre and Enriquez or Henrique Henrique I don't remember if 
it was H or not, I don't know. There we got another guy watching the front. So their army is still there. It's just... It's beckoning us. Like, hey, we're really not defending, we promise. Wow. <laughs> I feel so underpowered right now. It's not even funny. Let's see. Is this castle still independent? If it is, I will recruit some mercs and we will try to take it. Yeah, five mercs? Two, four, six. <laughs> yeah. That's that might not happen, but you know, if they attack us, that's that's totally fine. Totally fine. Okay, so we can't really recruit anything right now, and we can't retrain anything, so as it is, we're building everything. I'll see you guys in the next turn. Okay, smokey. So, what we're going to do now is uh, continue. Prince Gaudia. Oh, oh, look at that! Our good old friends, the Moorish Caliphate. They have... Oh, shit. They got a lot of stuff. Well, I could use the mercenary galley to go around and uh, do what with it? I'm not sure. Still 25th and everything, lovely. 25% supplies purchased. I I don't need to go on a crusade anymore, man. I I really don't. Like Yeah, there's no crusade. Thank you. It's never going to be a crusade again. Never. Oh, yes. Public order is dying. How lovely. Okay, so we'll get one more javelin man. Another spearman. And then we can start retraining all of our good old-fashioned... Uh, guys. Probably the infantry and... Not the peasants, because they're just meat shields. They don't really need to be... We don't need to waste 50 florins on them if their morale is shit, so... Just the javis and the archers, I'm not going to worry about either because, you know, they're just like, they're pieces of crap, archers too. I care about the javis because they can take out the generals, and that's about all I, really, all I really need right now. We need to retake sylves eventually, but why go for sylves when we should go for the Moorish Cordoba capital? Looks like they might be going for it. Let's check out... Uh... Okay, so there is another town here. It's a little bit less defended, but... Yeah. I think I'm just gonna go around. Just gonna... Just gonna... Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna try and go this way. If I can get Capit over to my lands, I'll be so much happier. So much happier. <laughs> okay, what's next? We could build a logging camp. Or a public gallows. Or a brothel. We're not gonna build a brothel. We're not going to build a public gallows. Well, maybe we should. Well, I mean, we have a big enough army, but when the army leaves, that's 40% gone, and... Ugh. Ugh. Hmm. We'll worry about it. No, no, we're we're gonna get the. No, well, let's get. Yeah, let's just get the logging camp just for the hell of it. By Nan Byzantines and the Shalujuks. Leather Tanner has been created. And are you guys getting pissy yet? You should be because we're still mostly Christian. Uh, we might need another pastor. Can I not get another priest? Wait, I have a diplomat? Where? I forgot where he was. Uh, let's see. We have a... Yeah, no, we have a merchant. Son, where are you at? Uh, have I talked to the... Who have I talked to again? I, I just need to recap this quick. So... I'm allied with Venice, France, Holy Roman Empire, them, 
Our relations are okay with France. Venice and Holy Roman Empire are good. Argonne's okay, but Lyon's very good. So Lyon, they're going to help us in case Argonne attacks us. We'll see how that goes. These guys are very good. They like us. Okay, good. Naturally, yes. I was going to go to the Sicilians, but I think it'll take too long. Oh my god. It's a, it's an imperial princess. But we cannot use her yet because, you know... Yeah, right. Reasons. We can't marry people who are factionaries because... This game is great. Love this game. Give you trade rights if you give me maps. And I'll give you some money. Lots of money, like... Oh, ooh, ooh, 500 gold! Ooh, crazy! No, screw you, I'm not gonna give you that much gold. That's, like, breaking my back gold. That. The amount of gold I'm willing to give you. No. I don't care. I make my demands and I walk away, bitch. I'm gonna talk to somebody more reasonable within your empire. Somebody who actually has some class. Like, really. Alright, so we're building in all places. We're recruiting in as much as we can right now. And our treasury tells me that we're gonna be still doing okay, but never trust the treasury. It's... A lie, but yeah, I'm gonna end the turn should play. Ooh, a concordat of worms. The concordat of worms, or sometimes called the Pactum Calixtinum, is an agreement between Pope Calixtus II and Holy Roman Emperor Henry V near the city of worms. <laughs> the city of worms, that's a great name. Uh like the City of Rats in Del Toro Quest. Shout out to that book series! If any of you know it, you're awesome. Probably not a lot of you, though. <laughs> Anyways, the king was recognized as having the right to invest bishops with secular authority by the lance in the territories they governed, but not with sacred authority. Okay, so that might be a little bit questionable. The Holy Roman Empire might, uh, you know, overexceed or overuse their power. Let's see, it declared that they are allies. Scotland and Papal States, nice. Factions are now at war with each other. Denmark and Holy Roman Empire. Good luck, Denmark. I really wish you luck. Alright, so... Supplies purchased, sure. So financially, I am the lowest. I'm literally the lowest and I have 9k. Is this... Are you kidding me right now? Wow, look at that. Everybody just went, and I just went, recruit, 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 recruit. Okay, now we'll stop. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Now let's get a little closer. Yeah, we'll get a little closer. Yeah, buddy, get out of here. This is my place, my town. Bitch, get out. Okay. Well, we know that that army's there. And we're gonna make sure we see them. But I want to get a better eye of the incoming armies across this bridge. Spy, you should load up a little bit. Okay. Going across the countryside. Ooh! Leonese army, light men at arms. They already have light men at arms. Oh, oh. Okay, so if they clash with this army, yes, Lord. oh please, yes. oh please, oh please. Okay, okay. I don't know in the town, the turn order, what's gonna go on here. Oh, I should have gone around because then I could just be next to them in case I'm attacked. Damn. Okay, we're gonna go up towards the hill here. Yes. We're gonna recruit all of those guys. Oh jeez, this is gonna be such, oh, such a pain. 
But anyways, uh, I think, I think, I think, I think. Yeah, we're going to hold off on going on the offensive just yet. We need to wait a little bit longer, a little bit longer indeed. Alright, so I forgot about our little diplomat over here. We're going to go to... I think we should go towards the Hungarians slash Polish areas. So we'll send him off that way. Hopefully we get to talk to them a little bit. And it appears the Leonese might have lost. But what I'm going to do here is... Uh, Okay, so Kingdom of Argon got improved. Actions have declared that they are allies. Venice and France, yeah! Woo! Now we're inter interlocked in like a triumvirate. Woo! Scotland and Venice declared a tr truce, okay. Okay, so in order to not use a lot of money up, I'm going to attack this army, and that's going to bring out this army. So we're going to see how that goes in just a moment, but I want to finish the rest of what I was planning on doing. Ooh, what's this? Bedouin infantry. Ooh. They are getting a little bit better uh, quality infantry. They still got Nubian spearmen, which are average professionals early on. They got some tribal warriors. Oh, look at that cut right across the Portuguese peasant. Oh. And they've got some Turkmeno cavalry. Ugh. Good old, good old cavalry. I love it. I don't have a lot of it. Can I retrain those guys? No, I can't. Actually, mm, I'll retrain the archers if I have, if I have to. You know, if I, if I have to. I don't really want to, but I'll. I will if I have to. Can I select this damn priest, please? Thank you. Okay, so I don't see where they went. So we're going to stay right next to this place. Okay, so they're slowly turning it back to an Islamic place. But I'm going to make them bleed. Bleed for it. Could I, like, improve my church? I can't improve anything, really. Oh, that, oh yeah, making that logging camp. Really improve this public gallows. <laughs> the price is now 475 instead of 500. I like it. Oh, I could get some more javies. Oh yes, please. Okay. When I said I wasn't gonna recruit anymore, uh, scratch that. Scratch that, please. Please scratch that. Anyways, this is where I'm gonna leave it. I feel like I've already gone a little too much over, but this is where we're gonna leave it today. They've got some Nubian spearmen we're going to head up against, some Javis, some crossbowmen. It's going to be a close battle. If we can overcome the first army and destroy the second, then we can take the city or the castle. And then I don't really plan on trying to hold it with Caput because he's my best guy at this point. I'm trying to just get him back home. I just want to kind of piss off the, <laughs> the Moors and kind of, you know slow them down in a sense so we'll see how this goes next time guys just say who you think's gonna win next time I guess vote I don't know anyways thanks for watching I'll talk to y'all next time Barry night out